about to give our look at the CS stock and the Drizek Sumeg Evar. Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining me and welcome to Sumeg Castle in Hungary. We're looking down on the town from the castle and up here this is the castle which we're going to have a look around. Um, it's up here on this big hill, it's quite windy up here, it's about 25 degrees but really windy so it's not too hot a day, just the wind will interfere. Admittedly, I don't know too much about the history of the castle because most of the um, information here, there's a lot of information, but it's all in Hungarian. Um, well, actually, there is there is a load of English information as well. I'll have to read that afterwards, and I'll put some key dates in now. So now you've got an idea of the history of the castle, well, very basic history of the castle. Let's have a look around. So we come into here, it's one of the rooms. You can see all the spears and everything. Be where the guards would have sat, where they ate bread as they guarded the castle. We'll go and look all around the castle. It's quite a fascinating castle. Uh, where should we go? Let's go. This is the main courtyard here. It's had quite a lot of money spent on it. It was probably. 30 years ago it was a complete ruin but now it really is a castle that you can look around they've got um well if we go into the middle of the castle you can see they've got a few horses and the donkey there in the middle of the castle a couple of donkeys and a horse let's go up into the battlements and have a look at the views both of the castle and of the surrounding area so to give you an idea of whereabouts i am in hungary we're just north of lake balaton in fact you might even be able to glimpse it in the distance when we get up here. We're in the Vesprim County. I have obviously, um, well, it's probably not obviously, but I have made videos at Lake Balaton in the past. So if you're interested, have a look at this one. Look at the link on screen now. You can see one of my previous visits to Lake Balaton. Here goes a view over the courtyard. Barbican. So you see, it kind of was a ruin, but they've to make it easier to walk around. And then on that side you've got the hills, the hills sort of form a ridge that run along above Balaton. I have walked in them in the past, I'd like to explore more of them really. What else is going on? And get more of the horses down there and the donkeys. Let's go, um, this looks exciting. I've not been down this bit yet. Let's go down here before I explore this part of the castle. in places it's incredibly steep just doing an announcement i think they're going to do um, a demonstration on milking goats there were some goats running around earlier see a long straight road that's the road i came on railway station is just down there shumeg railway station the amount of times I've seen this castle from the train and I've always thought that I should come up here and visit it so here we are today I finally made it to Shumek Castle Shumek Var, as I speak in Hungarian 
can hear the castle cockerel down there. We'll go down and have a look in a minute. See this walnut tree down there. As we can hear, but maybe not be able to see. But we'll, we'll have a look down there quite soon. We see, can't really see. They, they are directly below us. Now we have look at the view. And there's the Hungarian flag flying proud there on that on that um, tower. It's quite interactive here, like that you can have a go at, you know, I'm not going to do it, but I'll see if I can. So you can like, you know, do all the tortured things. A bit worried about tying myself in in case someone comes along and starts torturing me. But if I put my legs in like this and then um, I'll take my rucksack off, lie down. I just said I wasn't going to do it, and here I am. I can't quite fit my head in, but yeah, you can. It, you get the picture, it's interactive. Hope I can get out again. So, um, yeah, I was a bit worried about staying there for too long. Somebody might have come along and started hitting me with this stick, which is chained to the bench. So, it gives you an idea of the torture. There's also quite a lot of medieval games and stuff which I've seen people playing. That looks like a modern hotel just down there. So I think what they've done is spent a lot of money on refurbishing, rebuilding parts of it. There's a chimney down there. I know why there's a chimney, I'll get onto that in a minute. I don't know what's directly below here. I think I've picked the part of the castle where everyone isn't. When I came here earlier, it was quite busy, but now it's a bit quieter. So it's a sort of a half ruin, half, um, you know, indoors. So look, you can see people down there. I think they're all watching the goats being milked. That's one of the shows which they do. And there's the donkeys walking around. And they were doing horse rides for children earlier. Now, if we go up here, it looks as though parts of this are fairly new, like they've only just, or perhaps they're working on it, perhaps if we were to come another time, it says in English, construction area, Keith Howard, I did get the picture, I wasn't allowed to go there, so maybe in the future we'll be able to walk around there, because we haven't actually been in this part of the castle, it's quite nice, this tower here, get a view out, over. So those hills basically are from north of Balaton. Now if you can hear some more talking from down there, there's, there's some sort of horse show going on down there. So that's what you can hear. This is really nice. I know it's not an exact ruin, but how they've rebuilt it and put the roof on and everything, I think is, is quite nice. Quite sheltered. When it was raining, you could stand here and, you know, look out not waiting for a train i haven't actually seen any trains today but you could wait and see a train if you wanted to how do we get down perhaps there isn't another way down apart from the way i came up um, i thought i was going to be able to get down this side but obviously we can't so we have to go back but that doesn't matter um what we'll do we'll go to the other side of the castle there's a few things below here which i wanted to show you and then we'll go and have a look around the less ruined part of the castle and uh, see what else we can see. I wanted to show you why there's a chimney there. We'll get onto that in a minute once we get back down. Gives us another opportunity to look at the views like we did earlier. So yeah, again, that's that long windy. Let's walk through this. I really like this part of the castle. We'll walk through there and we'll go back down into the Barbican. Down, down below us is the animals' stables where the animals live at night. And then, um, so when you come up here, you basically come up there and pay to go in. In the gatehouse just there is where you pay to go in. Do we'll go to. 
that show going on. I kind of don't want to disturb that. walks up in those hills over there. You can ask them about the games you can play, you can see. indoors now underneath where we where we're going to go. What's in there? Is that a, is that like a, a shop and that in here? And so you can even have a beer in here if you wanted to. So that's worth knowing. Let's continue have a look from here. These look like bits that have come off the castle. Some of the Stonework off the castle. So it's been catalogued in here and come out into. So they've sort of set up like an amphitheatre, so if they want to do demonstrations in the middle, they can go to just around here. And there's all these uh, grapes growing. See all these grapes we've got growing. There's two of the donkeys, one there. Donkey here, hello. Here's on the donkeys. Now we're going to look at the animals. So, a moment ago, we were up there. So, here we are. This is the cockerel. Make it here. Making all the noise. I don't know if you hear that there's a rabbit as well. A rabbit in there and a duck. So, these are the stables. Oh, look, see that? That's a bit of a joke but it basically says can you find a needle in the haystack so I think in there there's a needle probably a slightly bigger than normal needle but there's a needle hidden in there Let's see if there's any animals oh look there are the goats hello goats I think they're the male goats and this must be one of the female goats hello see ya When I said see ya, that's hello. Mitchin owls. Mitchin owls is what you're doing. She's actually licking the salt lick. Hodge Evenock. That's what's your name. In fact, we can see what her name is. She's one of these. Not sure which one though. Right, I'm going to go now. Vislat. Irvin Deck. Vislat's goodbye, Irvin Deck. It's nice to meet you. Anyway, um, my Hungarian's not as good as it used to be. This is my first visit to Hungary since January 2020. Prior to that, I was here all the time and I'm just twisted my ankle there. Um, and my Hungarian got better than it was now, let's say. Anyway, let's continue to explore the castle. We've still got a bit more, we've got the keep, which was where I was going to finish the video. We're going to go up to the keep and uh, we'll be able to see the views, a few more views, and see inside. If you were to come and visit the castle and you didn't have a car, you can get here by train. As I said, there is a railway station here, but from Budapest, it would take you quite a long time. It, I'd suggest if you're on holiday in Balaton, then it would be feasible to come and visit. That's a bit of a joke, it says the nursery. So you can put your children in there and leave. But, uh, I think most people just take a picture and they get them out again. So let's have a look. What else can we see? Ah, oh, the, the wine cellar. Look at that. And then from wine to something completely different, this is the castle's chapel. new roof on. It's obviously had a lot of, like I said, it's had money spent on it, I think. It would have been a ruined chapel. So I think the whitewashed walls are the original height. And they effectively put this roof on, on top. 
There's the vicar up there looking down on us. Let's go out and we'll continue to look around the rest of the castle. We're going to go to the keep next. We come out here. And uh, oh, it's exciting. All sorts of steps going off in various directions. I do want to go up there. Let's just have a look. We'll end up up there. Open. Yeah, this is the, the torture chamber or the dungeon. Um, now, it's quite low. In we go. Now, um, I was watching a show in here earlier. They were explaining about all the different um, different types of torture. That's like, you know, earlier when I put myself in that thing, if you got hit like that, that poor bloke's been hung. I think that bloke's about to lose his head. But there wasn't actually ever a torture chamber here. So this is kind of a bit fictional. That's what I understood from the Hungarian. I can understand more Hungarian than I can speak. So when I hear people talking Hungarian, I can pick out what they're saying, and I got that there wasn't a actually torture chamber here. And that's how I know at the moment there's a goat's milk um, thing going on. They said tej, which is the Hungarian word for milk, and I saw the goats going over there, so it's fairly obvious to me they were going to milk the goats. So we're here. Have we been here? Spiral staircase. We'll go up there. Let's just have a look through here. It's quite, I do like a castle, it's got so many different paths and passageways and you're never quite sure where you are. So, you know, I see where we are. A moment ago, or five minutes ago, so we came down those steps and we went down under there. What we'll do now, let's have another look at the view and then we'll go up to the keep of the castle. There's another nice view. We'll go upstairs. I think the difference between this and the ruined British castle, I think it's impressionary, there's always extra roofs, which I don't overly mind, but I just don't think they'd really do that with the British ruined castle. We're going to go up this spiral staircase now, as soon as people have finished coming down it. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else coming up, so let's go. I think this is a fairly modern spiral staircase put in for the convenience of the visitors. It's going to be windy up here. We should get good views, but I might be able to talk. About. So, where are we? Oh, yeah, that's where I started the video. Just down there. view out over another side of the town. Both of those houses. This is the keep now, let's go in here and have a look. Old tower it says. So as we come into here, oh, that's interesting, look. Here's an old map of Hungary. Now Hungary used to be a lot bigger than it was. So if you look at this map, um, let's have a look. It sounds like, how do you say that? That's what we now know today as Bratislava, so that's Slovakia. So what is mostly Slovakia <coughs> was once Hungary. Miskolc is Hungary, but then see, Hungary went once right down to the coast. Zagreb was in Hungary. Osijek was in Hungary, which is in Croatia. Vukovar, which is uh, infamous for the Battle of Vukovar in the Serbian-Croatian War. Nojvarod I've been to, that's known as Osijek. If you want to see my explorations of Nodgeval, have a look at the link on the screen now. We're now going to go, watch out, not kissing them. We're now going to go in here. This is nice. I like that, that's a, a form of radiator. So I think like, they make a fire inside and it heats the room up. Yeah, you tend to see them in Eastern European castles. I've never seen one quite like it in the UK. I've seen them in Czech Republic, I've seen them in Slovenia, 
Right, let's go up the tower now. Cousin. So we have now arrived at the top of the, the tower. Is that a bedroom? We'll do, we'll go back down and outside and then I'll, I'll finish the video. We've got to wait for a few people to come up the, up the stairs. As soon as they've come up, we'll go down. Just have a look out the window. So we'll now go back down the stairs. So I um, hope you've enjoyed this little exploration of Sumeg Castle. It probably is one of the most famous castles in Hungary. It's certainly one I've always wanted to visit for a long time because he, so I'm, I'm glad to have finally visited this castle. Oh, it feels really bright now, now we're outside. Um, what we'll do, we'll go and end where we can, because have a look at the, a good view out over the town. Oh, it's getting windy again. So, um, from, this is the chapel roof again. So from Sumeg Castle, thank you very much for watching. Kusanam Sipen, um, Vison Tlatashtra. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Unfortunately, I don't know how to say it in Hungarian, but thank you very much for watching. And if you're Hungarian and you know what I mean by subscribe, um, please do subscribe.